Hello, my fellow trivia freaks. It's Margot, and today I'm sharing 10 weird facts and superstitions about bunnies that you can use to impress your fellow humans with your astounding knowledge of useless trivia. If you're ready for some relatively painless brain expansion, keep watching. Back around 600 BC, Celtic tribes believed rabbits spent so much time underground that they could communicate with gods and spirits and were hence associated with good luck. The Aztecs believed in a pantheon of 400 rabbit gods who held wild parties and were said to be the gods of drunkenness. In the Christian era, people believed that rabbits and hares had something to do with magic, and they were the familiars of witches. While these beliefs contributed to the idea that carrying a rabbit's foot could bring good luck, the common North American myth originates from the African-American folk spirituality known as hoodoo. It's said that rabbit's feet are lucky because of their reproductive habits, so carrying a rabbit's foot is thought to help with fertility. The moon rabbit, or moon hare, is a mythical figure who lives on the moon in Far Eastern folklore, based on interpretations that identify the dark markings on the near side of the moon as a rabbit or hare. The folklore originated in China and then spread to other Asian cultures. In Chinese folklore, the moon rabbits are the messengers for the moon goddess. They also use mortar and pestle to make the elixir of life for her. But in Japanese and Korean folklore, the moon rabbits only make rice cakes with the mortar and pestle. This connection with the lunar cycle is one reason why rabbits are strongly connected with fertility, that and their extraordinary breeding capabilities. Have you ever heard someone use the phrase, the rabbit died, to announce a pregnancy? From the 1920s to the 1960s, pregnancy tests involved injecting a pregnant human's urine into a female rabbit. If the person were pregnant, the urine would contain trace amounts of the hormone HCG. In response to HCG, the ovaries of a rabbit swell in size and turn a bright yellow color essentially what happens to a human's own ovaries. To investigate the rabbit's ovaries, scientists originally had to kill all of the rabbits that were injected with urine. As such, the rabbit died whether or not a person was pregnant. So literally, the phrase the rabbit died would have had absolutely no relevance. It's not understood how this fallacy became part of the American lexicon, but a large number of TV shows and movies use the phrase to allude to a positive pregnancy test. While we no longer have to rely on animals to determine pregnancy, Modern-day tests still measure the HCG in urine. Today, a rabbit symbol is often used to show that a product was not tested on animals. This is because rabbits have also traditionally been used in product safety testing. Rabbits eat their own poop. Rabbits are herbivores eating a diet entirely of grasses and other plants. Because their diet contains so much cellulose, they pass two different kinds of feces to completely break down their food. While other grazers will chew and swallow their feed, then burp it back up, as cows chew cud, rabbits will re-ingest their feces, the type known as night droppings or cesotropes, on the first pass to get all of the nutrients they need. Their droppings are also widely used as a fertilizer in gardens. It's not as smelly as other manures and is easy to handle, being in pellet form. One rabbit doe and her offspring can produce a literal ton of manure in one year. Another fun fact about bunny bodily functions, rabbits are physically unable to vomit. Rabbits are banned from some boats. Legend has it that bunnies being transported for food chewed through the hull of a 17th century ship, causing the deaths of possibly hundreds of sailors. To this day, some ferry companies still ban the transport of rabbits. A rabbit's foot may bring luck on dry land, but never mention the R word once you're out at sea. This superstition is rumored to have started because it was believed the devil could disguise himself as a rabbit. Meanwhile, on the Isle of Portland in Dorset, England, rabbits are considered to be highly unlucky. Some older residents call them underground mutton to avoid saying the word. Jackalopes exist, and there's one in the Smithsonian. Part jackrabbit, part antelope, the jackalope is considered to be all legend. So when a box was opened at the Smithsonian by one of their mammal collection managers, containing an eastern cottontail rabbit with facial growths resembling horns, she first thought it must be a joke. It turns out the rabbit was infected with the Shope papillomavirus, related to the human papillomavirus, HPV. In rabbits, the papillomavirus manifests as hard, keratinized horns. Its distinctive symptoms in rabbits and hares have mystified and inspired people for centuries. Stories and illustrations of horned rabbits as real animals last appeared in scientific books in the late 1700s. Sightings of virus-affected rabbits in North America are thought to have influenced the resurrection of the horned rabbit legend, now termed the jackalope. The longest rabbit-proof fence, known as the dingo fence because it's since been converted to a more useful dog fence, was built in Australia in 1885 to stop rabbits from moving across the country. 
However, the builders didn't seem to know that rabbits can jump, and the fence was an epic fail in regards to its original purpose. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit is a superstition found in Britain and North America, wherein a person says or repeats the words rabbit, rabbits, and or white rabbits aloud upon waking on the first day of the month to ensure good luck for the rest of it. If you forget and say something else before you say the magic phrase, you can always reverse your luck by saying tabar tabar, rabbit rabbit spelled backwards, just before going to bed that night. The ritual dates back to at least 1909 when a British periodical featured a girl who said rabbits on the first day of each month for good luck. President Franklin D. Roosevelt also reportedly rabbited every month without fail. In many cultures, rabbits are associated with innocence, youth, and new life embodied by the character of the Easter Bunny, a springtime favorite commonly found in Western cultures. But this isn't true everywhere. In Australia, rabbits are considered to be overbreeding pests who destroy crops, and the Easter Bunny has been replaced with the Easter Bilby, a more popular species. Rabbit's cousin, the hare, was associated with madness because of their strange behavior during breeding season, which is usually in March. They box at each other and jump with no reason. This is where the phrase mad as a March hare comes from. Well, this is all I have for you today. I hope you found these fast facts about bunny rabbits interesting and will come back for more. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and bring your friends, family, COVID pod, cult members, invisible friends, and enemies. And if you want to share your own fun facts about rabbits and hares, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Uh -huh.